attention. And don't forget, if you happen to miss an episode, you can always catch up online at 10play.com, where you can also playlist your favourite shows, connect with other fans, or simply view suggested photos of the Bondi vet on his Instagram account. <laughs> it's your portal, kids. Step through it. <laughs> OK, hands on buzzers. Let's start Ooh. round two. The Australian PGA finished today. It was played on the Gold Coast. Where? Sam. Royal Pines. Golf star Tiger Woods achieved a first this week. What was it? Troy. A redhead? <laughs> Twins! Twins! <laughs> he hit a ball from Asia to Europe. Indeed, what? across the Bosphorus Bridge. Take Jeez. a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bang. Yeah. Why is Rafael Nadal so happy? He's world number one. He's back to being world oh. number one for the first time since 2010. What are Charles and Camilla doing here? Wow. Oh. Rachel. Spicing up their sex life. <laughs> Not that it needs it, but uh, Ed. I, I mean, are they in India? They're on a royal tour of the Far East. We will pay that, Ed. Okay. All right, The Bachelor, and we're down oh, to the yes. final oh. four girls. Oh. Where did each of them take Tim for a date? Come on, Kate. Sorry, I was like so many of the girls on that show, over eager. Oh. <laughs> Looking for love, Kate Langbrook. Oh. How dare you? They took him home to meet their parents. Indeed, to their hometowns mm. to meet mm. their parents. Mm. For me, Katie, I don't know whether you saw it, the most glamorous date was Ali oh. took uh, Tim to a little pub in Perth and mm. uh, really beautiful. Oh. <laughs> you know, yes. Wow. Nothing says romance quite like an 18 inch hot dog. <laughs> Fine, that's a clip from Embarrassing Bodies. <laughs> <laughs> we could sell it to them anyway. All right. Which of the girls on this week's oh. episode of The Bachelor went home? Ed. After that footage, I'm sure it's not Ali. <laughs> she stick around. Stick around. Troy. Yeah, I can on. pick an unsatisfied woman's face. The black one. The girl in the black dress, are we going to pay that? Correct. Danielle has gone home. Yeah, yeah. The worst thing about that, Tom, she went home and then they put a screen around her and... <laughs> bad. bad way to finish that show, I'd say. <laughs> Who is this? Kate. It's that Australian girl that turned up Lost in Ireland and Quite correct. The GPO they thought, girl they yeah, were calling right. her. Thought she was 14, 25, Samantha as a party. Yeah. Name the number one movie at the box office. Mm. Ed. I don't know the name of it, but it's a prequel or a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> it's halfway there. And there are superheroes in it. Yeah. And it's not Australian. You're circling <laughs> it pretty closely. It's Thor the Dark World. I gotta get that. Oh. Chris Hemsworth. Oh, but hang on, there is an Australian no, he in counts. it. Yes, super, he counts. Super yeah, we'll get Hemsworth. to that. Mm. Yep. What was the most illegally downloaded Australian film of 2013? Mm. Ed. A uh, Hundred Bloody Acres. Correct. A comedy oh. horror. <laughs> Steve Irwin's son Robert, aged nine, is about to do what? Rachel. Follow in Bindi's footsteps and start terrifying us all. <laughs> <laughs> A very close. He is following in Bindi's footsteps. Ed. He's marrying Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Is it his, he's got his own TV show? A new TV show, Wild, Wild. But True, on the Discovery yeah. Channel. Correct. Wild. Wild. Tell you what he needs, Tom. A new haircut? Yeah, without a bowl. <laughs> 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 his first bowl-free haircut at the age of 10, that'd be great. Terry does their hair. Oh, oh that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> See the French? Traditional mother's haircut. Yeah. Yeah. True. Take a look at Anthony Mundine. It's like you were fascinated with this chick, and then last minute she pulls out. <laughs> What's he referring to, Ed? Sam Pang. <laughs> Classic Sam. Says he's going to be there. Doesn't show up. More than that, Sam. The uh, Shane Mosley fight. Which fell Which apart. Which fell apart. They were, was they were going to fight and then they, it felt called off. Correct, Sam. Apparently, Sugar Shane Mosley is coming back to Australia, which is surprising because the last time he left, he was pretty emphatic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a guy I want to box. <laughs> Welcome back. It's time for our Newsmaker segment. Each contestant has volunteered to study one person from the week in great detail. Why don't we go alphabetically this week, starting with C, Rachel. No. Your Newsmaker shocked many soccer fans this week when he announced his retirement from the sport. It's Australian goalkeeper Mark Schwarzer. Whoa. Rachel, your time <laughs> starts now. 
What EPL club does he belong to? Uh, Chelsea. Correct. What's his nickname? Uh, Warts. Correct. In oh. 2009, <laughs> he was awarded what honour? The uh, Order of Australia medal. Correct. He holds the Australian record for most number of what? Uh, consonants in his name? <laughs> Perhaps 109 appearances. Right. Name his children's soccer book series. Uh, is it Meg's? Megs. Megs. We'll pay that. Megs Morrison. Oh, ah. Rachel Corbett, ladies and gentlemen. I'm studied. I'm studied. Ed, you've offered to take on our first lady of the track, trainer of the Melbourne Cup winner, Gay Waterhouse. Yes, I love my Waterhouse. Your time <laughs> starts now. Where was she born? Scotland. Correct. What is the name of her stables? Gay Waterhouse Racing. Tullock Lodge. Why was her husband <laughs> Robbie banned from racing? He was part of a fine cotton affair. Allegedly. What does her son do? Annoy me. <laughs> High profile bookmaker. Oh. Name the owner she fell out with this year. John Singleton. Correct. What is her connection to Doctor Who? She was in an episode in the 70s. Oh, she played the role of Presta. She was right? a Dalek. <laughs> no, she wasn't a Dalek. <laughs> what did she get into trouble for on Melbourne Cup Day? Uh, one of her strappers rubbed some ointment on a hoof. <laughs> That's the way she tells it. <laughs> Correct. Name the... Oh, oh, oh. Ed Cavalier, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Beautifully done. Mm. Troy, you've gone with not one but two newsmakers, the Hemsworth brothers. Chris, of course, uh, currently starring in the number one movie at the box office. Troy, your time starts <laughs> now. What island did they grow up on? Temptation Island? <laughs> Phillip Island. Phillip Island. What character did Chris play in Home and Away? Surfer number six. <laughs> You're right. Kim Hyde. What character did Liam play in Neighbours? Josh Taylor. Correct. Name Liam's famous ex-girlfriend. Miley Cyrus. Correct. Name the song she wrote about him. Damn, I wish you were your brother. <laughs> Wrecking Ball. Chris or Liam? Hunger Games. Liam. Correct. Chris or Liam, McLeod's daughters. Oh. Liam. Correct. Chris or Liam, Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> All of them eventually. <laughs> Chris. Chris. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Troy Kenny. He knows his hands work. Fine Kate, we know you're a big TV viewer. Let's hope oh. Channel 10 Wednesday nights has been on the menu because you've oh, nominated yes. Tim yes. from The Bachelor oh. as your newspaper. Hang on, first of all, I've got to speak like this. <laughs> because that's totally how all the girls on that show speak. <laughs> and they just find him so incredibly hot. Your time starts yep. now. Yeah. What is Tim's full name? Well, you would think it was Ermagod, as in oh, Tim, oh my god, he's so hot. But no, it's Tim Robarts. How old is he? 32. 30. Mm. What's his profession? He's not 30. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, you know what? Stop the clock. Sorry, he's, but he's not. Do you know what I'm, as Dr. Phil would say, <laughs> I didn't come in on the last truckload of turnips. He is not 30. Tom, what? I've got time to go to the toilet and come back. <laughs> All right, what's his profession? He's a chiropractor. Correct. Who did he give his first rose to? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, doctor, she was a doctor, Judy. Well done. Ooh. In episode two, he confessed to a fear of what? Monogamy. <laughs> Heights. Oh. There was a medical emergency during an early rose ceremony when contestant Ali almost what? Oh, uh... She sort of, she had a panic attack. She almost died. Uh, died? She almost... <laughs> she almost fainted. Oh, oh ladies and gentlemen, we've got there. We've got there. Great job. That is uh, a frighteningly detailed knowledge, Kate. All right, Sam, everyone else has gone for people. You've chosen an organisation, Google, who are, of course, in a battle this week over YouTube footage of Max Mosley. Your time starts... Now, who founded Google? Larry Page and Sergey Brin. Correct. Where was their first office? It's in a garage. Brin's garage. Brin's garage. Name one of their slogans. Uh, one's don't be evil and the other one's oh what a feeling. I'll take don't be evil. How do employees in California get around the workplace? In Google mobiles. <laughs> Coloured bicycles. This appeared in oh. California during the week. What is it? 
that's where they keep all their money. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, well, maybe it's the Google not, barge. Yeah, it's a barge where they're oh. going to uh, an, an interactive learning set. Uh, yep, we'll pay place. that one. Sam Pang, a yeah. frightening yeah. thing. It's a tight competition, still anyone's game. Let's see who can make a final run for the podium. Hands on buzzers, it's time for Rapid Recall. What amazing discovery was made in a rundown Munich apartment? Ed. And Frank. <laughs> You're in the zone. Rachel, totally sweet. They actually found a billion dollars worth of art. 1,500 looted artworks from the Nazi wow. era. I'll pay All that. Pro hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Gaga is planning to be the first to perform where? Right. In space. Indeed, aboard the Virgin Galactic space flight. Mm. Gay Waterhouse is officially the second woman to train a cup winner. Who was first? <laughs> Sam. Oprah. <laughs> Sheila Laxon. Swiss pilot Yves Rossi managed to use a jetpack to fly where? Rachel. To the 80s? Who's in the Japanese? <laughs> Japan's Mount Fuji. What endangered species has been reintroduced into Tasmania? Freud. People with literacy? <laughs> okay. Employed people. <laughs> Think what we're all trying to say is the Tasmanian <laughs> devil. That's all right. That's According all right. to Bureau of Statistics data, where can you find the longest living Australians? Ramsey Street. <laughs> it's the ACT. Harold came back from the dead. What more proof do you need? <laughs> it has been announced that we will soon start, start making what iconic Australian motor vehicle? Yeah. The push bikes with the lawnmower engine in them. <laughs> the Holden V8. Oh, Sam. I was going to say the Holden V8. <laughs> I want you to look in the eye and say, were you really going to say the Holden VA? I'll look you in the eye, Tom, and I'll say no. Appreciate your honesty. Who is this? Rach. It's the new mayor of New York. Indeed, Bill de Blasio and his family. Victoria Cross winner Corporal Daniel Kieran met the Queen. What gift did he leave Her Majesty? Sam. Was it something from the body shop? <laughs> <laughs> it was a photo book of Kalgoorlie, his hometown. Oh. AFL coach Scott Waters recently had this to say on radio. When a president sits with you and says we see you as a long-term coach, that's enough for me. What happened two hours later? Kate. Okay. He got sacked. He got <laughs> sacked as St Kilda coach. And that brings oh. us to the end of Rapid oh. Recall, ladies oh. and gentlemen. We are out of time. Nothing for us. But to check those final scores, let's see who's claimed the crown, and goodness gracious me, it's none other than Mr. Ed Haverley. <laughs> Thank you to all our contestants this evening. We'll leave you with a man who has spent his career paying close attention to detail, Formula One boss Bernie Eccleston, who this week found himself surrounded by an eager press mob. How best to avoid them? Why, I'll just duck into this building. Not sure Bernie thought that one through. And on that note, we'll say good night. See you next week.